What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, I, you know, this is a topic that I think I'm going to try to bring some nuance to. Um, I'm getting kind of comments from all sides, from people who um, uh, are mad at Steven for the way he handled things with The Daily Wire, which I believe he could have certainly done much better there, too. Uh, people are mad at Steven for how things shook out with Dave Landau. Whether, you know, the things that Dave said are true or not, that's what's out there and Steven hasn't responded to them. So the, Dave has fans that are bringing it up. The left is celebrating uh, about it. Um, Candace Owens got brought into it with a claim by Steven that she was, you know, kind of waving it over his head. Obviously, there are things that I know from behind the scenes that I'm not going to divulge because Steven Crowder is a friend of mine, and I want to first acknowledge that. There's a certain amount of this video that's going to be a bro being a bro. Sometimes a bro's just got to be a bro, and you don't have to be a dude to be a bro, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, I'm getting to that age now. You know, I'm 40 now where my friends, some of my friends are also going through uh, divorces, and it's kind of one of those things that... I've always had the, the position of, you know, like, hey, I'm just none of my business, bro. You want me to help you move out of your house? You want me to, you know, I, I you know, you need someone to, you need to bend my ear about something. That's cool. Um, you know, vodka's cheap. Show up with, you know, and uh, we'll talk all you want. Uh, you need a few bucks to help float you into an apartment or whatever. Cool, cool. That's just being a friend. Now, I wholeheartedly admit that also being a bro is not necessarily the, the most fair and balanced position. But I, I hope that by acknowledging this up front, you'll understand where I'm coming from. Uh, this is something that unfortunately is a part of, the, a part of life for public figures. Um, divorces, relationships, all this stuff. It feels weird when it's like a YouTuber, you know? But it just is news. And um, first of all, I think people celebrating it just because they don't like his opinions are garbage humans. Uh, nobody really knows. The, my position on divorce has always been nobody really knows what, what, what went on when they were alone, right? Stephen may have said some things today. It's not like his wife made a quote statement. And 100% certainly it's not like we were there. People get divorced all the time and I am not... And I, you know, even though I 100% support and understand my, uh, you know, viewers who are more religious that view divorce with a stricter opinion, I am just not one of those people. My parents stayed together their whole, you know, the whole life. I'm not from a divorced family, but I certainly have plenty of friends that had divorced parents. Um, and uh, I never looked down on that. I never, but I don't also have that religious like tenant to it. Okay. From what I understand from the, uh, uh, what has been shared by Steven is that, you know, things didn't work out when a guy says, Hey, things didn't work out, whatever, whatever, who knows, right? I, I don't really care. I don't care if he was stepping out on her or if she was stepping out on him or whatever, as long as they take care of their business clean, they don't drag their friends into it and they take care of their kids. It's really none. Yeah. You know, none of your business. And I think that, um, you know, people who people are mad uh, at him for a variety of reasons, and certainly plenty of them are valid. But I do think that it's, it's pretty cringe uh, if people are just kind of reveling in a marriage falling apart and, to, and children losing their parents. Also, people like blaming Stephen. Dude, like, come on. Uh, it takes two to tango. If, if it's true what he said is that she bailed, I mean, what is he supposed to do? Lock her up? I mean, if your wife wants to divorce you and she divorces you, what, it also doesn't mean you're any less of a man. It doesn't mean you believe any less in the strength of a family. It doesn't mean that you believe any less that your kids should have two parents. It doesn't mean anything. Sometimes things in life just don't work out. And what I don't like about this is all the hot takes. Um, and you know, Steven did invite a little of them here with interlacing a clip from Candace Owens when he's talking about it. So here's, here's the truth of it. You know, I've, I've talked to Steven for a long time now. Well, in an in internet years, right? 
Um, and he, even he didn't tell me anything about this. And, you know, I don't know if he'll care or not that I say this, but I don't think he will. Like, he even texted me and once it, I texted him and I was like, bro, it's in the news. I'm probably going to have to cover it. You know, you know, you're my bro, but I also, this is my job. Um, and, uh, he like, ap he apologized for not telling me to which I replied, are you kidding? You know, basically, I mean, I'd show you the text, but it's like, I basically said, I have, you have no reason not to believe me. I said like, Dude, it's none of my business. Nobody, Steven Crowder doesn't owe anyone any explanation for him getting a divorce. It has nothing to do with his show. It has nothing to do with, um, you know, nobody has that right to that information. Now, there are people who are pointing out that uh, Steven is a, you know, devoutly religious man and this divorce is bad. I can't speak to that because I, you know, I love my, my religious viewers. I am not... I'm not an atheist. I'm just not like that stringent in my belief. I, I literally like say, oh, God's probably cool with the golden rule. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's how I've cho chose to kind of look at things. And I just think that like, you know, one day there's, what if, you know, one day I might get divorced, right? And then people on the left will be like, ha 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 ha. And, but nobody will actually know, right? Your friends and, you know, your boy, your buddy gets a divorce. You know as well as I do everything he says about her being crazy and all this. Only half the truth, right? But your job as a bro is to say, yeah, man, you know, bees be crazy. You know, let me get you a high life, or whatever the case is. You know, um, I do think that the, the, I have known that. You know, other people were making allusions to this in the past. Uh, and that's essentially what Crowder says. You know, he, again, I don't know if I would have brought Candace Owens into it because now you have this. Candace Owens saying, Stephen Crowder accuses me of extortion is so patently insane. It honestly makes me question how there are still people who cannot see how thoroughly undone he's become. This is not stable behavior. He, this is a man on a spiral, outright bizarre and concerning. That doesn't sound like someone who really, you know, in the original video clip, Candace Owens talked about how she had inside information into Crowder's life and that people should pray for him. I guess being kind and turning the other cheek is only something that is done when convenient. Candace says, if you're going to use your children as human shields to block people from digging further into your divorce, please do so without inserting me into the narrative. To remind people, the video Steven used in his show of me was a video of me responding to Steven's first set of bizarre attacks against the Daily Wire. Steven is not a victim. He never was. He's just a bad person who continues to burn a lot of people. Um, You know, again, so... I think Candace here is saying, hey, I didn't like the things that Steven Crowder said about the Daily Wire. Okay, fair. But Candace absolutely 100% alluded to the divorce. Okay, it was known inside the conservative circle. Uh, I if I go to the, the clip, you tell me what Candace is. So because Candace didn't like that Steven Crowder said something about the Daily Wire, which is fine, she's their employee, she brings up his, 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 because she knew about the divorce. We're so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Steven has a lot going on, I guess is the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Again, I think that that's a little self-righteous. I think she's very clearly insinuating, oh, I've got dirt on Stephen. He's got, you should probably know. Um, oh, but by the way, Jesus blessed. Peace be upon him. I don't like that. You know, now, was she extorting him? No. Was she letting Stephen know that she knew that about that, that dirt? Yes, of course she was. I mean, 
you'd have to be you'd have to be a willing simp of either one of these two people to 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 believe any other way. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes people need a scripture. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure. Purports to be a Christian. So again, calling in his Christianity into question. At this moment, if, if it is my place to say more than that. And again, doubling down on, I know something you don't know. So let's not pretend, Candace, that you're like so innocent and you were absolutely referring to his divorce. You absolutely knew. And you were letting Steven Crowder know that if you keep running your mouth, I'm going to say something. If you disagree with me, I'd like to hear why. Okay. Again, remember, I'm coming at this as a bro. All right. But seriously, she is 100% saying, well, I know something, but it's just not my place to say. Now, she has every right to be mad at him, uh, you know, after, you know, going after the Daily Wire. I understand that. But let's, let's, you're no innocent babe in the woods, Candace, okay? And I don't like the casual, well, me, he's not a real Christian or some people need some scripture, but I know about your divorce and I'm going to, no. All right. Candace does a lot of great work. She's, but like, come on, come on. Obviously Dave Landau, the situation, a lot of people uh, don't like Steven because of that. My position again, there has been, I wasn't there. I don't know what was said. I certainly know uh, nobody else does. There's only two people that do know what was said. And if, you know, Steven did say something like I own you, that's bad and cringe um, and dumb. Um, but I wasn't there. And, and I think we need to come back to a time in, in reality here where that's okay. You don't have to pick a side all the time. You don't have, I got nothing against Dave Lando. I think he's funny. He's hilarious. And that's why I'm saying, I don't know. I wasn't there. Okay. What I do know is Dave was out promoting his own show, his new show on the blaze. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm just saying it was a promotional interview. It's not like Dave told me in private. I don't know. I wasn't there. I think that that's an okay position to have. I just, I, I, I think we need to get back to the golden era of like, you know, disagreeing with people's ideas and not reveling in personal downfalls of them. Uh, unless they're like, you know, a truly evil person, I suppose. Um, there's a lot of people that, you know, I won't miss when they're not on this planet anymore, but I think it's pretty cringe that people on the right are like condemning Crowder for getting divorced, using it against him. They absolutely did. Um, I, I know I'm fairly certain where the leak of this came. Obviously it was public record. It was always going to get out there, but you know, there's a short list of people that actually knew about it. And then it just happened to leak out there. So look, I've got a lot of love for Steven. But I've got, you know, no hate in my heart for Dave or Candace or whatever. I'm just trying to call a spade a spade here. And, uh, you know, people, life is complicated. And um, I, I, people, I think, need to remember that more often. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. We'll talk to you again real soon.